Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paola and today I am giving you a 2022 TBR of sorts. Uh, basically, I am going through books that are on top of this piece of furniture, my black box and my green box. And I'm going to let you know if I keep them, if I am unhauling them, if I've read them and if they are on my 2022 reading list. This is part one where I talk to you about the books that are here on this piece of furniture. So what I plan to do is highly inspired by Kayla from Books and Lala. Uh, she did her Closet on Hull series in 2019, 2018? I don't remember when she did them, but they were very, very fun to watch. And another person who inspired the thing that I'm about to do is Marines from My Name is Marines. So she did her shelves by like section. I think she did this in 2020, 2019. I also don't know. I think it's 2020 or maybe it was 2021. I don't know, but yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to narrow down my physical TBR and get rid of books that just don't call me anymore. The The, the challenge here is to find the, the books that are not calling to me because I own a ridiculous amount of books and I bought a ridiculous amount of books back in 2021 and I want to just like get on them. And I've, I've also felt the very rare need to, to hold books. Um, also, sorry about the lighting. The sun is playing tricks on me today, but I still think it looks good. I also don't watch booktube for the good lighting or the aesthetic. I watch it because it's fun. So hopefully we share the same sentiment. So first I'm going to show you the books here. Then I'm going to show you the books in the uh, big black box, which are non-fiction and adult mostly I have a couple of YA books but the green box is the YA box so yeah let's just get into it shall we so I divided the books that were not divided here so that took me a minute um I divided the books in YA middle grade rereads or books that I'd like to reread adult books books that I own for the aesthetic, and uh, books that I started in 2021, but I never finished because 2021 was a lot. So uh, rereads or books I'd like to reread um, are Tiny Pretty Things and Shiny Broken Pieces by Sonachari Potra, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I've been meaning to reread this book for forever. I actually got this edition back in like... I think I was either finishing college or I was about to finish college. So I first read this when, when the movie was about to come out and I loved it. And then people started like bitching about it uh, on book Twitter for a variety of reasons. I think it was because John Green's uh, newest book at the time was Turtles All the Way Down and people were talking about how he wrote his characters and dialogue and stuff like that. And because he's such a big name author, a lot of people had a lot of opinions. And sometimes they would talk about his other work and this is part of it. And I was like, you know, I actually really, really love The Fault in Our Stars. I should definitely revisit it. And I haven't, but I should. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I think they ma they're making salsa de chile de arbol and I'm like dying. Anyway, Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index. This is my favorite book of all time. Of course, I'm keeping it. And of course, I would love to reread it this year because I meant to reread it in 2021 and life got in the way. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Oh my god, the way I love this book and that I'm so glad that I own this edition, this cover, this... Uh, size of paperback not the mass market paperback this book means a whole lot to me of course I'm keeping it and of course I'm prioritizing rereading it in 2022 next up I'll just show you the books that I own for the aesthetic because it doesn't really matter what books they are it just matters that they're old and they give you the old book old library vibe they're this my dad gave them to me because uh, my grandpa owned them. My grandpa passed away in 2020, June 2020. And as my dad was, you know, cleaning out his stuff, uh, he gave me some of his books. And these are some that I 
own, not because I want to read them, but just because I love how they look. They remind me on my, of my grandpa. Next up, YA. Let's just do it. I'm just gonna say the names of the books, and these are books that I definitely want to keep. Um, if I want to read them in 2022, I will let you know. Wild Beauty by Anna Mary McLemore. Do I want to read this in 2022? I'm gonna say yes, but things can change. Saints and Misfits and Misfit in Love by S.K. Ellie. I am definitely reading this year. The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. I really do want to read it this year because it's one of my most recent purchases. So I'm going to put it in a separate tentative stack. The Spanish edition of Don't Date Rosa Santos. It's still in the plastic wrap because I suck. I'm going to put it in the 2022 reading stack um, because the audiobook is available on Spotify. We shall see. Anything can happen. Golden Boy by Abigail Tartlin. Uh, funny story, I've been meaning to read this book since Diversathon happened in 2016. Was it 2016? I don't remember. Um, Whitney from Witty Novels mentioned it and I was like, oh, sounds interesting. Let me check it out. And I love this cover and I do really, really do want to read it this year. So it goes on that stack. The Misfit by Ori Wellington. This is one of the seven or eight novelizations that uh, the OC had done by, I think it was Penguin or Scholastic, I don't remember. Um, and it has some pictures and I'm on my way to hunting them all down. I just need to be able to pay for US shipping. So I'm going to keep this one in the non-2022 stack at least until I get the rest of the books. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I really wanna reread this book this year, so I shall. Concrete Rose, also by Angie Thomas. Definitely reading this year. The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I really do wanna read it this year, but the stack is ever growing, so I'm gonna keep it in the tentative stack. We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. This, oh, I don't know if I'm equipped to read this because Oh no! Oh no! What happened here? Oh no! I'm gonna cry. I don't know if I'm emotionally equipped to read this, um, but I want to try to read it. Also, it's very, very short, so I'm gonna try to read it. I'm gonna put it in the definite TBR. Never Kiss Your Roommate by Philin Harms. Philin Harms. Um, this is a uh, queer sapphic love story set in an exclusive boarding school and I broke my book buying band for this because it was cheap it was like ten dollars at the bookstore and I love the cover and I love the sapphics so I'm gonna prioritize it for 2022. Okay, the last YA book that I have here Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I'm gonna put this in the no 2022 list. I don't know if I wanna unhaul it yet. And I have two copies of The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan and the rest of the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I'm putting this in the absolutely must read 2022 stack. Oh God. At least these five I'm reading and this one is for bragging because it's a copy I won at a writing contest when I was in high school. Next, my adult books. First we have Vente Cuento Un Cuento by Roxana Ramos. This is a teeny teeny weeny short story collection. So I'm keeping it in the 2022 stack. How Not to Fall Apart by Maggie Van Eek. This is a self-help book about how not to fall apart. I'm gonna add it to the definite 2022 list. Homegoing by Jai Jiasi. This is a book I read in 2016 with the Diversathon people because this was the group book and I want to reread it especially now that I physically own it in this floppy floppy paperback with this beautiful beautiful cover. The Brown Sister series by Talia Hibbert. We have Get a Life Chloe Brown, Take a Hint Danny Brown, and Act Your Age Eve Brown. I don't know, these are chunky romance books and I got them in 2021 so I feel like I should be prioritizing them so I'm gonna add them to the priority stack but again, anything can change. Finally, in the adult section, I have Stripped, Hired, 
and Flashed by Zoe Castile, aka Soraida Cordova. And these are books that I've read, so I'm gonna put them back in the box. I accidentally forgot about this cutie right here. It is This Is How We Fly by Ana Mariano. And I read this and I'm keeping it. And now books I made a dent in in 2021. So they will definitely go in the 2022 stack. Little Lone Lion by Brandy Colbert. I am on like page eight. So like not even one full chapter in. But I'm interested in it. And I love the cover. Historia sobre un corazón roto y tal vez un par de colmillos by M.B. Broson. I read till page 84 out of 300, 200. 229, 229 pages in total. So I'm definitely going to be reading this in the coming days. The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. Here I made it to chapter 12, page 143 out of 363. This is IP work for the Disney Descendants franchise. I love that franchise with, with my whole heart. Whether I continue on with the series or not is still to be determined. Behold the Dreamers by Imbolo Bue. This is adult and it's set during the 2007 recession. And I made it to page like 8. 80 or something like that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna prioritize this one. Finally, I have This Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I made it to page like 40. Yeah, I'm very excited about this one. I didn't know that it was like a former lovers to enemies to lovers again. The only thing I knew about it, it was that it was a Romeo and Juliet retelling and that Chloe Gong is like a superstar on the TikTok, so yeah. Hello, editing Paola here. So as I've said, this was originally supposed to be one longish video, but then the footage got a little bit out of control. So I'm dividing it into three parts. This is part one. I hope you enjoy. Let's go into the stats. That leaves us with 39 books on this piece of furniture. These are the 17 books that I have read. These are the 12 books that I want to reread in 2022. These are the other five that I've read and that I'm keeping. That means I am unhauling zero books. That leaves us with 22 unread books. Here are the 18 books that I want to prioritize for 2022. And here we have the four books that are on my tentative TBR. So that concludes part one of this video series that I don't have the name of as of yet. Definitely let me know in the comments below how you think I'm gonna do with this challenge. Again, um, I don't know if I clarified this in the beginning, but there's not really any rule that goes with this. It's not like I'm gonna unhaul the books that I don't get to. Um, I just really, really do wanna get on top of this. In part three, to close out the series, I can talk more about percentages and stuff. Um, so yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.